channel. Many of you may have seen my previous video, how I made a ton of cash without using any of my own money. Today will be part two to that video because I closed yet another deal. This time it was for way much more money than I made the last time. I found this property right here. Today I made $10,000 without using any of my own cash. Here is the check right here to prove it from Callaway Law. I mean the best closing attorney there is. So like I said, many of you may know and if you may not know because you are new to my channel, I am a licensed real estate agent in the state of California and Georgia. I am also what you call a real estate wholesaler in which I have paid tons of money to learn the tips and tricks of wholesaling. So today's video will be how to make money from the comfort of your own home and it is up to you to set how much you make. Today I made $10,000. I am so happy, I am so excited because I didn't even have to leave my home except to pick up my check and you can check my experience, pick it on my check right here. I am here to pick up my closing check. I can't wait to tell you guys about the entire experience of how I made tons of money without using any of my own money. So definitely stay tuned. A real estate wholesaler is someone who sells property without using any of their own money. So what I did was first, when I discovered real estate wholesaling, I began to build my list of buyers. I used my Instagram platforms, my Facebook, my LinkedIn, and all of my social media platforms, as well as my personal in my personal experiences with people when I go to the store, the grocery store. I just got me some cards made that said that I buy property. If someone wants to sell their property during distress or if they want to relocate or what if they want to, you know, buy a bigger home or downsize their home, they may be looking to sell. So I listed, you know, I got my list of people who wanted to sell their home and I shot my business to people who want to sell their home. Like, hey, listen, I buy houses. If you want to sell your home for whatever reason, contact me and we can come to a negotiating term at which I will buy your house for X, Y, and Z. Then I went out there and networked with people who want to buy homes. So many people want to fix their own homes up for their personal reasons, whether they want to live in it, they want to sell it, or whatever reason they want to buy property. My job is just to get their names and their contact information so when I get property, they are the first people I sell it to. So one day I'm sitting home and I decide to get on Zillow. I use Redfin and all of those other fancy sites that homeowners typically go to to sell their home. I also, like I said, go when I go out, I meet people and I get their contact information and I'll shoot them a text like, hey guys, it's Elise, I'm looking um, to buy some property. If you may know anyone who's looking to sell their home, please give them my number as I am interested in buying property at the moment. Hello? Hi, yeah, I met you at Kroger's and I decided I'm interested in selling my home. Can you come by and check it out? I was like, hey, this property looks good. I was able to see behind the little bumps and bruises that it may had on the outer and inner surface and I knew that once it was fixed up, it may be worth something. So then I went on to check out the comparables, which are properties that is in the area that have sold for you know more money that may look exactly like this property or it may have been renovated already so i'm just checking the prices of how much this property can sell for once it's fixed up after i look at the comparables and come to a great price at which i believe which i don't know because the property do have to go through appraisal but just using my better judgment I'm just like okay this property may appraise for let's say 180,000 so I acquired this property I reached out to the owner hey what's up my name is Elise I'm a real estate investor I'm interested in your property can I come check it out the guy says hey yes you can 
So I'm never gonna check this property out just based on the scope of pictures that I've seen. I felt like this was a good property. I send one of my contractors over and which, you know, some people do this, some people don't. Me, I am trying to solidify this deal. So I send a contractor over so they can estimate how much it will cost for this property to be repaired. Once he come back and say, hey, it's gonna take about 15,000 or less for this home to be fixed up and looking like today's trend and have someone purchase it. So then I add that 15,000 up and then I think about what it will cost me to buy the property. I just come up with a couple of numbers and once I decide, you know, based on how much it will cost for them to fix it up and how much they will purchase the property at with my fee included, I then shop this property to buyers at the new price point with my feet added on. Remember, we built up our buyer list and we built up a whole bunch of people. We have our contacts. We're sending them the entire file with pictures and all the information on this property. Then you just sit back and wait. Next thing you know, your phone rings and someone wants to buy this property in which that happened in this scenario for me. Um, someone called me and said, hey, I like this property. I want to go check it out. Is it on lockbox? Is it vacant or is it occupied? Luckily for me, this property was vacant, which means no one was living in it, living in it at the time. So I say, hey, sure, you can go check it out. The property is on lockbox and I'll provide the lockbox code. My new prospective buyer then goes, checks out the property, have their contractors come over. I guess they look at the scope of work based on the price at which I'm selling it and the price at which they have to put into it to fix it up and the total price of all costs. And once they sell, I guess they look at how much they would make. They decided they wanted to move forward. So when I acquired this property from the buyer, we went under contract with a purchase and sale agreement, which means that I am the purchaser of their property. Now I entered a purchase and sell agreement with my buyer who is interested in buying this property from me because I have the original contract and I want to sell it for $10,000 more than what I negotiated my price at. So now we have two contracts here with me and the middle as the buyer from the seller and me as the seller to my buyer. I then sent it to my closing attorney who then works with the, the, the new buyer, which is the buyer on my side, to secure their funding and make sure that everything goes smoothly. In this process, process typically they will be ordering appraisal and getting their inspections done, making sure that the money that they will receive after they fix this property up actually makes sense for them to go ahead and buy the property. I already know this is a good property because I have the eye for it in which that will come with more experience of course and if you want to see videos on that please let me know in the comments. I will give you guys more tips and tricks on how to prospect your properties and how you know when you have a good one to the point you don't have to leave the comfort of your home. So anyway we then go we're in under contract everything looks good so now their funding is ready um sometimes we have cash buyers so sometimes they like ready to close in two days or whatever you know the scenario may be and this scenario i believe they were securing funding from a bank so once the funding became available the clothing attorney has been ordered to go ahead and order title Title typically, you know, for my closing attorney of choice, typically takes 28, 24 to 48 hours. And once that is done and everything is good with the title, it is time to close. And that's when I make my $10,000, okay? This is the check right here. I'm sorry for so the safety purposes, I cannot show you the check. It has confidential information on it, but I promise you guys, I'm telling you the real deal. Again, you can reference to one of my previous videos where in that video, I took you guys to the closing table with Callaway Law. I'm telling you, it works. I did not leave the comfort of my own home. It took 30 days because funding, appraisals, and all that good stuff from the back office, which you do not have to do, have to take place. Every scenario is different. Some is faster, some may take longer, but trust me, I mean, what do you have to lose when you're just doing something from your living room? I sold a house to someone without using any of my own money and I secured 10 
thousand dollars listen you can do it too we are living in a new time it's 2020 listen you do not have to work hard you just have to work smart but okay Huh, I work hard too, but I also make money without leaving the comfort of my own home. So if you like this video, if you want to know more, if you have more questions, or you want to see other things involving real estate beauty, about my little wall, home tours, whatever it is that you want to see, make sure you guys comment below and talk to me. Like, we're here with friends. You guys are the Get Richie gang. I love you and I appreciate you guys. And I can't wait to share my next video with you. Looking forward to teaching you guys more money tricks and, you know, Wednesday.